a lot of people seem to be worried about how much sperm is enough. Well, my name is Idris, an embryologist and andrologist. And in this video, we're talking about how much is enough. How does the body make it? What does a normal sperm look like? And how can you improve yours? Come along. So your semen is made up of a number of different components. Number one, the sperm. Your sperm is actually different from your semen. The sperm are the cells that fertilize the egg. While the semen is the fluid that helps transfer the sperm. Only about 5% of it is actually made up of the sperms. It contains about 70% of fluid coming from the seminal vesicles. This fluid contains amino acids and sugars that basically help nourish the sperm. About 20% of it comes from the prostate. This contains um, acids and enzymes that help stabilize the genetic material in the sperm cells. And about 1% comes from the bobo retinal glands, which contains enzymes that help reduce the viscosity of the sperm to help them swim well in the vagina. The sperm itself is created in the testicles, in these little tubules known as the seminiferous tubules. They are created by a process called spermogenesis, which takes about 70 to 120 days. After the cycle of um, spermogenesis, the sperm cells move from the tubules to the epididymis. Now the epididymis is a small and um, cut-like structure at the back of the testicles. The sperm cells undergo maturation here and remain here until the man ejaculates. What happens during ejaculation? Well, when you're having sex or having some sort of sexual stimulation, the body sends impulses to the spinal cord and then the brain. And when you approach a certain level, these signals are sent back to the part of the spinal cord called the ejaculatory center. <laughs> now, this is a point of no return. Ejaculation is a reflex action. So the muscles in the pelvic floor, the bladder, neck, and the urethra contract to release the semen. Now that you know what the semen is made up of, you may be wondering how much is enough. Well, according to the WHO, anything between the range of 1.5 to 5.0 ml is considered normal. However, you should know that the volume produced is influenced by a number of factors, like the arousal level, the level of hydration, stress, nutrition, medications, and infections. So men might have a condition known as retrograde ejaculation, where little to no semen comes out of the penis during ejaculation. What happens here is that the muscle in the bladder neck becomes weak, and when the man orgasms, instead of the semen to be propelled forward and forced out through the penis, it flows back into the bladder. It can be caused by a number of factors like surgeries to the bladder or prostate, nerve damage, and um, as a side effect of certain, certain medications. Apart from the volume, the density and motility are another two important parameters to look out for. The density is the number of sperm cells per milliliter of semen, and the motility is the percentage of sperms that are noticeably swimming. A normal semen appears greyish or pallid scent. Usually, anything from white to light grey is considered normal. Also, semen with a bit of yellowish tint is usual. And sometimes the semen mixes with a bit of urine to give the slightly yellow coloration. Abnormal colors like brown, green, or red can be as a result of infection or trauma to the reproductive organ. So if you notice this, it's best you see a doctor. Thank you guys, and that's all I have for you today. If you are curious on how a baby is made in the lab, you can check this link.